Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom left and corner, we got range starting as the blue Protoss, because he's the cold one now with that carrier play. But we got cold still appropriately in white as Saren, bottom right. Cold like ice. This is going to be on Apocalypse. We'll see. I haven't seen Cold's play overall, so I'm not sure where he ranges uh, as far as Saren play. But I will say, I think that something that I've noticed, something that I've seen as a pattern amongst a lot of Terran players is I think because Terran play is so much like we build a big mech army and then we charge at you, or we build a big medic marine army and we charge at you, a lot of the mentality tends to be I'm going to build my big thing and then you got to come to me and I'm going to, or I'm going to go out and hunt you with my big um, ball of mech or bio or whatever uh, the matchup is. But I think what ends up happening in between is, is there ends up being less active information gathering as a result. Maybe it's CompSat is the thing that does it because you can just click a button and point on the map and see something. But uh, I will say the very, very good Terran players like Royal, uh, like sharp like a lot of these other guys I, I feel like they don't in flash <laughs> not only do they use their army aggressively they use their army aggressively in such a way that it provides them a constant stream of information speaking of which uh, it looks like range went for a pylon after i think he's going to look for a gas deal here very likely he's already dropped a gateway at his natural expansion maybe he's going to fake the gas deal because he did go gateway first no he's going to go for that gas deal so gas deal initially that I think that we're, now here's the thing. He could build the zealot, or he could skip the zealot. Overall, unlike Terran, you can't pause the uh, building instruction, so it definitely is going to finish. But this does force Cold into a situation where either he needs to pull SEVs, lose some mining time dealing with that assimilator, or his initial marine. Or he'll have, he'll have to be a little bit more uh, defensive overall. You never want to get gas stolen as a Terran, particularly on a map that doesn't have a ramp. Um, you can't just like stuff it with a or a nice little choke where you can stuff something with some SEVs to blockade. Range still hanging around. Curious if he's going to go for a second gas deal. Uh, depending on how long that probe stays alive. And it looks like we are going to see an initial zealot dedication. We do not have an assimilator up yet for range. So actually recognizing he got the gas deal off. This is a rampless map. Wanting to engage initially. And get some damage done. Probe. <coughs> I wonder if the probe's going to hang out and try to get initial shots. I I've been waiting to see this sort of play. Looking for a manor pylon. Not finding it, but I'm waiting to see someone like sit and wait for the marine to spawn and have that probe attack it as it's built. A bunker already constructing at the natural expansion. The marine working on that assimilator. So range going to sneak back in with the probe. And I think he's looking for a second gas deal. But it's possible. Yeah, okay. Drawing that marine off. This also gives time for that zealot to make its way forward and attack that bunker. SCV, or never mind, an SCV dies to the probe. I thought the probe died. The Zealot engaging the SCVs along that bunker line. The bunker has completed, though. And now the Marines segregated from that bunker. And you got a probe and a Zealot in between, which is a dangerous combo. It looks like he's just going to try to walk up with that one. That's going to get ignored, though. So one Marine going to make its way up to that bunker. Do we have a second Zealot incoming? We got a second Zealot incoming as well. SCV's dying. It looks like the Zealot still isn't down to base shield. Nice little bit of micro there from Cole. Well, let's see. He's got two Marines making their way across. The SCV getting some damage. Third Marine up. Well, fourth Marine if you want to count the one in the bunker. Two Zealots, though, in the main versus these three Marines. And this is starting to look a little bit scary for Cold. Second SCV down. The three Marines trying to do what they can against that Zealot line. It's a little bit hard getting... Ooh, one Marine kill right there. But one Zealot almost shredded. This is more, yeah, defensive territory for the Marines. Although they need to use that gap to their advantage and two more marines get wiped out and this has turned into a great play from range 20 health left he's gotten five kills on this zealot two scv kills on top of it he's delayed that gas a considerable amount of time that zealot's not going to get out though with that bunker in between he's going to get is he going to get yet another scv kill very nearly got a second scv kill i think he realized he's not going to escape with the zealot's life that natural expansion is already up and humming by the way and is he going to get yet another marine not quite <clears throat> Nine health left on that Zealot, and it's still sitting here active in the base. This factory, another command center being built. Very passive play here from Cold. Another command center being built off center rather than a factory here. And finally, the factory being built. And this is going to be an easy third base grab from range. Range can do anything at this stage, honestly. With the, <coughs> excuse me, the amount of interruption that he created up to this stage. Three Marines in the bunker. Uh, Cold playing overly passive and building this command center 
uh, defensively. Third base is going to grab there. Could be a fourth base for ranged if he wanted it. He can surge tech. He can just go gateway man from here. He's got all the options in the world available. Single Dragoon in no man's land. Maybe wanting to cut off some information. Is that the single? I think that's the only Dragoon range he's got out. But ironically, that's enough to deal with anything. You got two battered marines and two other marines, which makes sort of three marines total. And that single Dragoon could probably take them, especially with the reinforcement timing. So in the meantime, Cold still hasn't scouted anything as far as Range's base. He's still going to the north just to find that initial bit of scouting information. Range upgrading, by the way. This is one problem I always have when I'm commentating Range, is Range upgrading for Range. It always feels a bit uh, redundant and silly. Uh, Cold moving that command center out to land. This is going to come out uh, somewhat late. Two gateways already up and a third base almost already completed. That STV might be able to discover that third base. The problem for Cold right now is, is even if he transitions into some sort of factory timing, I think Range's economy is strong enough. <coughs> Although he is going to be able to walk all the way in to the main to see the four gateways and the robotics. So bonus right there. Um, the problem though is, is even if he goes for a gateway flood right here and tries to go for an attack off two bases, Unless he pulls absolutely every SCV, which maybe that's the play, actually, is uh, get get a handful of SCVs, get your factory lines up. I would uh, maybe go to four factories to try to push it a little bit. Just four factories, get your mine upgrades. I wouldn't even bother with Siege Tech. Just get uh, mine upgrades and then go with all your SCVs and build some Marines alongside as well. Just get, just get a lot of meat and attack into your Protoss opponent right here, because right now, the economic advantage is massive for range. He's already got the 20 supply lead. As long as he sticks on that macro cycle, <coughs> he's gonna be sitting pretty. You're probably not gonna be able to economically catch up as you're not, because this is uh, a saturated natural expansion and that third's already active. And this is at the, the seven minute mark. So yeah, I say build a bunch and go. Go for the hammer. Uh. There's solar panels on these siege tanks. Or are those vents? Those are vents. They look like solar panels. A little bit. I'm going to say there's solar panels and that the Terran army in the future is actually, even though it's brutal. Okay, we are seeing a move out here from cold. Even though it's brutal and vicious and archaic, even they have uh, solar power on their siege tanks. And it's so efficient, they only need the two panels on the front to start moving out. Makes perfect sense. Anyway. Cold moving out, uh, range starting to gather his attack force to go ahead and stymie this up front. Siege tech gonna finish in route, but unfortunately the siege tanks, the SCV is not uh, on top of the siege tank repair, so both of them getting wiped out and good mind drags from the Zelts underneath. And there's also the observer in place, so now this is just an overpowered army, and that's GG from Cold. Rough start for Cold, but man, range looks strong here. Uh, as would be expect as to be expected from him we have high expectations from ranged anyway hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for listening